Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use Lucky Patcher to get free in-app purchases, to modify license verification, to modify applications, to remove ads from applications, and general application manager. So um, Lucky Patcher is a very good tool for Android and it's not, there's no ads or anything so it's not like some um, really obscure you know half virus where half do some good it's actually just a really good apk manager tool um so i use this with titanium backup and a couple simpler ones um so let's go ahead and get started now it's not when i say simpler it's not that um lucky patcher or titanium backup are confusing it's just since they are heavier applications, the their user interface is more cluttered. So sometimes if I'm doing something real simple, I'll just like use a simple application. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, what Lucky Patcher can do is you can get free in-app purchases and um, you do not need root for Lucky Patcher. So the primary purpose that people use Lucky Patcher for is to get free in-app purchases. So I'll go show you an example for this. So if you are rooted, it's easier because you can get rooted and use the exposed module. In the exposed module, you won't have to do any modifications. You can automatically get um, free in-app purchases. Um, but if you don't have the exposed module, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you would do. So let's go ahead and search here for an app called um, Wi-Fi Keyboard. So let's go ahead and search here for or Remote Keyboard. Remote. Then we'll press Done. And see, look, here we have Remote Mouse. And we're going to go here and do, see it says, right here it says, um, in-app purchases found. So that is something that can be modded, and it says Google Ads found, so you can remove Google Ads. Now, since if you run ad away, if you have root, or ad block, if you don't have root, um, you will probably see the ads anyway, so that's not really important. But if you only have certain ads, ad, apps you want to block ads on, then you can go ahead and um, use that method. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at... We're going to get free in-app purchases on this without root. So let's go to here and we go to menu of patches. And here we're going to do is um, support in-app. So let's go ahead and do the list here. But um, So the ones that people actually use are remove license verification. So this works for apps like um, Bubble, UPMP. Um, it makes a license verification work. Remove Google Ads. Again, we don't really use that if we have Addaway. Support patch for in-app LVL emulation. This is how you get free in-app purchases. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this without all this other stuff down here. Um, never use it. So let's go ahead and go to support in-app for um, LBL. So here we're just going to leave all the settings default and just click apply. And I'll go ahead and wait so we don't waste time on the video. All right, so that took probably about two minutes. You can check my clock up here. Um, so now that once it's done patching, you're just gonna go ahead and launch the app, and I'll show you what it does. So, um, yeah, Lucky Patcher really doesn't need root permissions. Oh yeah, if it doesn't have root, then you're gonna have to go ahead and uninstall the old APK and install the new one with Lucky Patcher. And how you do that is you go to your file manager. So let me go ahead here and get my file manager. Well, I hate to have to try to do it this way because it's a little bit clunky. Um, you go to your My Files or whatever file explorer comes to your device, and you go to the um, My Phone or basically just your built-in phone's memory, and the um, the storage right after that where it stores all your app files. Um, there's going to be one called Lucky Patcher um, if you're not root, and inside there you can go ahead and search for, um, and you open it up and there will be the modded app. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can search for the APK here. So I don't actually have the modified APK because if you're root, it does it all seamlessly. But if you're not root, due to system um, security limitations, it has to do it this way. It sounds like an idiot when I say it that way. Uh, I just mean um, because root just bypasses all the security, so it just uh, installs it for you. Um, this way, you have to just do it the normal way. So it would you could search for APK in your files, and it should show up with the modified one if you're not root. So let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing. So let's go ahead and launch our app again. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and bypass all this. Um, and let's go ahead and click start. And let's go ahead and go to the menu here. And let's search for an in-app purchase. So here we have digital keyboard and touchpad. So if we press get, we're presented with a different dialog box. So usually you'd have the usual purchase dialog box. But when we have this, we get this box. And what we want, and I'll go and show you the three options. Uh, you don't want this one. 
So you don't want auto repeat purchases with the current settings and you don't want send reply application unsigned. Um, neither of these are actually really do anything. Um, I've never got the top one to work. Okay, once, but it, yeah, that, you don't need the top one. Um, auto repeat purchases with the current settings. That's still if you're like playing an offline game. Um, then you want to buy like a million coins, you use this because you just do it and it automatically repeats the purchases. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that, um, yeah, I'll get to that part later. Um, so to actually make this work, you click the middle one called Save Purchase for Restore. And I'm guessing this modifies um, the local files to say that this was purchased. Um, so you click Yes, and now it's activated. You can do this on all these ones. So you click Yes, it's activated. But let's look what happens if we press Get. Um, see, Cinder Verification failed. So the top one doesn't always work. So happens you do this. And if you do Save with Current Settings, um, it's not made for this. It's made for like coins. So... Um, Yeah, I mean, it works, but it's not made for that. Sometimes it screws things up. So let's go ahead and, oh, and by the way, if you're not root, I mean, even if you're root, I've never had any problems with this application. It's really stable. Um, yeah, and it updates are fine on this app. I I've updated before. No trouble. There's a couple fake, quote, fake ones. I don't know if they're really fake. I think um, they've just been modified a little bit out on the internet. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of the copy I have. And um, I'm not s screwing around with the APK file. I don't even know how to do that. Um, because I don't use, um, Android Studio, but if you want, you can find your own version. It's, um, I think it's called like netbeans.com. That's where I downloaded it from. So you can go over there and go ahead and download it. So, um, just do a Google search and it should be the top link. Uh, let's go ahead. So now that's how you get free, um, in-app purchases, let's go ahead and do a quick finish up and look at the last few details. One thing to keep in mind is that this only works for online apps or offline purchases. So, um... It won't work for games or something that's tied to an online service. So you couldn't use this to, like, for instance, get Netflix um, activated or get something like Clash of Clans activated. But you could use this for um, unlocking the Plex um, application or unlocking the MB application. Or you could use it for um, unlocking... Um, uh, unlock removing ads from a lot of apps. So let's go ahead and... Go to our Lucky Patcher again. And now something to keep in mind is not all apps can be gotten with in-app purchases this way. Some apps need custom patches. <clears throat> now what do I mean by custom patch? Well, a custom patch is a um, modification specifically made to get the paid version of the app on your device. Now here's the thing. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, because software literally can get up into like, shoot, when you have a thousand apps on your phone, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here. I think I have like six hundred on mine. Um, it can get up to like five hundred dollar range, and that costs more than your phone. Um, the most expensive phone I have is two hundred fifty dollars. So, um, especially if you're in a country like India or China, um, you're really gonna need a tool like this to have access to the Android software. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our custom patches here. So you can get a custom patch for titanium backup. And um, let's go ahead and check out. So custom patches, sometimes an app, you know, can't be got using the free in-app purchase patch like we just showed. Uh, it needs a custom patch. Now, not all apps have this, but some specific apps that are really popular have this. So for example, Nova Launcher has a custom patch. Titanium backup has a custom patch. And such, like apps that are just really popular, but... Um, that costs money. So let's go ahead and see what the custom patch for Opera here is. And I think it's to remove um, all the bloat they added in. So let's open menu of patches. Let's take a look at the custom patch. And the thing with custom patches is a lot of times you need to make sure you got the right version. And so if you need the right version of an app, a lot of times you can go to the website APK Mirror and download the version of the app you need for the custom patch to work. So here we go. Let's see what the custom patch says. Yeah, this says disabled recommended stories. So you can see um, Opera really bloated the new browser with putting recommended stories everywhere. So yeah, um, that's it. If you have any questions, go leave a comment below and I'll respond. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day.